Yo, what's up, Saber folks? I'm here with a War Sabers unboxing video. Uh, I'm gonna play with it a little bit before I really give out a full review and I'm like what it's about and stuff. Watched a few videos online about like tutorial, like how to work it and stuff. So I'm gonna do my best with just out of the box intuition uh, and we'll see how that goes. So um, unboxing. So I base I did get it in the tube. Uh, I took it out because I was concerned about it being damaged. It is not damaged from what I can tell, and I truly hope it is not. Um, do, it's important to know this is from Russian Post. This I don't I wouldn't fault necessarily War Sabers for this, um, but yeah, uh, a couple things. It took they took the full build time and then another couple of days to. Uh, I got some custom weathering I asked for. Uh, they sort of don't do it that way anymore, and I asked them if they would, and they said they would, so for a price, they they offered to do it. And so it took another extra couple of days, um, so that was kind of annoying, but again, I was in contact with um, one of the War Sabers representatives the entire time, so that, that made up for it, I'd say. Um, and they sent me pictures, and that was really important because the leather wrap that they had initially put on my order um, was not the correct color, um, which is fine because... You know, he fixed that once I pointed out to him. The only way I could have done that is if he sent me a picture, which he did. So, uh, yeah, overall, I'd have to say customer service is pretty good. Um, yeah, I could, I mean, a couple of those mistakes are annoying, but they were fixed. Um, so, yeah, so that's like a very real, I think, you know, uh, review for, for the customer service for War Savers. Still pretty good. A um, couple of errors. And then obviously the packaging being damaged, which is a little bit of a concern if it's if you're ordering from Russia. But again, I don't know that I would fault War Savers for that necessarily more, more just Russian post. I believe that's their, the standard Russian post is how they uh, self, uh, send things over. So with that said, we're going to get into the lightsaber and let's see how this goes. So we see a lovely blade with the, oh no. Okay, so they taped right to the blade, which, all right. I don't want to like rip or get the tape on my blade, which I think I just did, but I have to pick that off. It's kind of annoying, but okay. Come on. I like the length of the blade. It uh, looks like it's 30 inches. I think I measured it just now. I'm pretty sure it was 30. Yeah, I think it was 30 inches. Lovely measurement there. Bring this off nice and generally this looks like the Allen key. Yes, sir. Cool. There's a little Allen key there. Pop this guy in there. Fast forward the next like 30 seconds because I don't feel like editing. I'm just going to pull this off and then I'll deal with that later. Beautiful looking blade though. Huh? It's a standard points of pointy tip. Uh, one thing I will note is that the, the, the foil doesn't clearly go up to the edge, which would be nice if it did. I don't know if it does in all of them or in none of them. Um, you kind of see it's like stops right there. Just kind of a bit. Oh, it doesn't, okay, at least it doesn't shake in the blade, which is really nice. Um, cool. So here, so we've got our War Sabers. I got the, I got the Destiny. Um, it is weathered like they used to do with, I believe, aluminum black. I want it to look like it, it basically they said that the aluminum black would wear off. And so I wanted them to do it like this, and I wanted them to put a brown leather wrap so it like, could be like either a Jedi or a Sith. It's like a dark brown leather and then like dark weathering. So we'll see. I saw pictures, but it's always different in person. Let us see. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. Oh yeah. Gorgeous, mate. This is lovely. Nice. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, which makes me very happy because in the pictures it looks like at least it to me it looks massive um so cool yeah can we cool. so there's the pommel i'm gonna see this guy yeah it's like a lot smaller than i thought it would be which i'm okay with i just didn't know nice forget which there's like a base you can order different kinds of sound coming out of i got the war uh the oh i guess you can't take it out 
Okay. Well. Oh, yes, you can. Okay, cool. So then there's the, um, okay, so it's all like in hilt stuff. So, so here's the speaker, which I think is really cool. They kind of just, you can pop it in there, which is pretty sweet. And then I believe that is the SD card that you can access right in there. Let's see here, I'm going to focus. It's the SD card you can access right in there. And then uh, I believe that's the charge thing as well. And I think, it didn't give me a cable, so I don't think I can really tried from here but we'll see so love okay here's the auxiliary switch they used to have them be two two lit up which would have been cool to get that when i was when that was the thing um but oh well say lovey they didn't come with retention screws i think that's important to note um yeah that's so uh i think this is the only one that you can use to it came with it i ordered a blade plug as well which looks very very lovely can't remember which one but the one with the point in it all right, and let's fire it up and see what we got. Ready? Cool. Yeah, I got the orange. Oh, orange uh, lit switch and then start in green. Oh, I must have touched that. You can actually feel it vibrate, which is pretty cool. That's interesting. That's right. mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, that's interesting. Um, could just be that it's low battery. Could be. Could be that it was damaged. Um, I don't know. But let's let's play with some stuff. Okay, so these are all the auxiliary functions of the saber. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe I don't know what I'm doing. And you hold and it turns off. Okay. That's 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 not too that's pretty intuitive. So if you it's kind of annoying because if you press it when you're battling, it's going to make the sounds, but that could be really nice cuz if you're just waving it around in your room, it's kind of fun. Um they did say that the aluminum black will would wear off, which I'm actually okay with um over time, definitely. So I want to be grabbing it up top. So, yeah, that could be interesting. No, oh, but I love how it's so much smaller than it looked, you know, on the, uh, yeah, I don't know. So let's go do that again. Q. So you're getting a, a couple of, uh, whoop. okay, so I touched the auxiliary there, so that's me. I believe there's also firmware as well that you can play with. No, it's, you know, it's picking everything up. There's obviously, it's not perfect. It's not smooth swing. There's going to be a little delay. But it does pick up, it does pick up every one, and it cuts off the previous one when you swing. Sweet. So let's go ahead and, and if you hold, hold to retract. Let's try this guy again. Let's try switching colors. Let's see if we can do that. Settings. Nice. So let me try switching the color. Next font. Horizon. Okay. So auxiliary switch changes the auxiliary stuff, and I'm pretty sure if I do this, it'll change the color. Next color. Ah. Oh, okay. So main switch changes your color, and then auxiliary changes the sound font. Very hard to tell when I was looking at the Russian tutorials, just because I think some of the um, instructions. Next color. These are pretty. These look better in person than they do on camera. Next color. Way prettier in person than Next color. Next color. Next color. Gorgeous. There's white. Next color. Is that red? Next color. That's red. Cool. Next font. Vengeance. So I got Horizon Vengeance and... Next font. Newborn Sith. Newborn Sith. Next font. Horizon. Okay, so I think I got three of them. Newborn Sith, Horizon, and... Next font. Vengeance. Vengeance. Next font. Newborn Yeah, okay, so I got three of them. That sounds pretty cool, though. Definitely down. Okay, so how do I pick it? Hold, I guess. Settings saved. Cool. So then it goes off. Awesome. That's actually really intuitive. Um, wasn't totally clear to me when I was looking at the tutorials. But, yeah, I'm, I dig this hilt a lot. Uh, things I wish I did. I, maybe I would have had them just give it to me the way it was weathered. Um, maybe they did it a little bit more than I wanted them to. But, you know, I'm, I'm really okay with it. Like, I'm hoping that they were just saying that if you hold it enough, like, it does wear down a little bit. Either way, it still works. It still could be, if, if I hold this enough... Ooh, cool. 
that's another thing to note. When you do click the, the button, it does, it's a lot less momentary than other momentary switches. This one's pretty sensitive. Um, but yeah, so I haven't done a full review. I haven't like fully done anything with this yet, but I do like it. It's, it's a lovely size. This is, could be a problem pressing the button a lot, but I'm going to be choking up more. I wonder if I can find a retention screw that will work. Um, so that I don't necessarily need this in the way because I do want like whole choking up on it. Still spinnable for sure. Just that might be something too. It might actually help with grip to have that, but we'll see. Okay, so that okay. So that does stab a little bit. That's interesting. Okay, so if you go hard enough, it stabs. Interesting. Nice. That's actually a really cool idea. That it's not every time. So I'm liking this the more I hold it. No, it's been 11 minutes, but I touched the auxiliary there. That's me. Yeah, and I can feel the vibration actually through through the button, which is cool. I dig. They can feel the middle section. You can feel the vibration, which I dig. Yeah, the pictures don't really do this saber justice at all. It's actually a really pretty compact. Actually, I thought it was gonna be is like bigger. Whoopsies. Thought it was bigger than it it really is, but. See here. I'll put the, I'm gonna put the blade in and we'll continue from there. All right, so I got the, uh, the blade in here. Let's go ahead and fire it up and see what it looks like. So I changed the font to Horizon. This is like kind of like a heavenly sort of magical cloud city. I'm imagining unicorns flying around everywhere. It actually is more sensitive than it's letting on right now, but I find if I tap it near the end of the blade, I get a better sense of it. Okay. Probably gonna do a full review on my own on this one, um, just to sort of go into everything. Yeah, let me try this again. Let's change the font again. Settings. Let's change the font with the auxiliary. Next font. Next font. Vengeance. I like that one. Let's take that one. So Change color. Next, co next, next, co next color. There we go. Red. Settings saved. And then we're gonna go. Beauty. Looks really nice in this camera. Lovely. Hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So that's basically the ultra. Uh, sorry. The War Savers Destiny. Uh, a lot of interesting things about this. I thought it was gonna be really big. It wasn't. It just which was good. The detail is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. The weathering they did for me was um, unique to me, I think, for now, because that's how they used to do it. They don't do it like this anymore. They did it for me. That was great. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm pretty sure there, there might be a low battery issue with this just because, um, I don't know, it's just not as sensitive as it, I believe it should be or that it is. Um, also, I don't have a charging cable for this. I don't know if I need to use It's like a standard one or maybe... You know, I don't want to risk using like a Saber Forge one on this or anything because, you know. Um, so that might be it. Uh, I need a cable. I might, if I, I wonder if they sent retention screws because why would you send an Allen key if I don't have anything to use it for? So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, so yeah, so all, overall the War Saber's Destiny is pretty good. I really enjoy it. Um, I really like holding it. There's a lot going on in the hilt, in the grippy part and then also the leather. Um, obviously there's points to dock, but still overall gray hill. Will I buy from them again? Maybe. Uh, I might actually, yeah. And when I opened it, I was like, I don't know. And, but now I'm actually thinking I would. Um, it's an investment though. So I want to make sure you guys know everything about it, like good and bad, uh, particularly the bad. You don't want to get something and be disappointed by it. And I'm not really disappointed by this. I think that there should have been because the packaging from Russian Post wasn't great, that there might, should be, uh, retention screws and a cable because I don't have either of those. They did bring me, or they did send me my the sweet blade plug that I ordered. Kind of a fun little thing. They put foam at the tip, I, or at the in the plug, I guess, to protect the LED, which I thought was a good touch. They kind of knew maybe what kind of uh, they would be dealing with, what kind of quality service they would be sending it off through. But yeah, so the sound fonts are really fun. There's lots of different things you can do. Stabbing, um, is a thing. The swings pick up. It definitely cuts off the previous sound before going to the next one, which is both 
an asset and a weakness, I think, because you don't get the full sound in a lot of cases. I think maybe some of these sounds are designed to be quickly back and forth changed. But anyway, overall, yeah, pretty good. Um, with that said, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.